a small team of geologists and seismologists from the University of Utah, Salt Lake, the Institute of Earth Sciences, Academia Sinica, Taipei, and the University of New Mexico have studied the contents of Yellowstone's magma reservoir and reported differences from previous measurements. The group used seismic wave data to better understand conditions beneath Yellowstone National Park. Yellowstone National Park is a U.S. national park located in parts of Wyoming, Montana, and Idaho. The city is known for its beautiful views and geothermal features, such as the Old Faithful Geyser. These features exist due to a large magma reservoir located beneath the park. Previous research showed that over the past 16.5 million years, a hot spot beneath the national park had caused a series of volcanic eruptions, leaving behind numerous calderas. Over the years, many research teams have studied Yellowstone's magma reservoir and found ways to measure its size and make predictions about its contents. The upper part of the reservoir is about 90 kilometers long and 40 kilometers wide. Beneath the upper reservoir is a lower chamber believed to be about 4.5 times the size. Previous studies of both chambers showed that the deeper reservoir was made mostly of solid material mixed with 2% melt. In contrast, the upper chamber experienced more melting before this new effort. The researchers found the percentage was higher. After analyzing seismic wave data, they found about 28% melting. The percentage of melt in a magma reservoir is important because it can provide an indication of the possibility of an eruption. In this case, the new team agrees with previous assessments, indicating that an eruption is unlikely in any area of the national park. <laughs> 